Hello, my Facebook friends and world. I am coming to you, hopefully, for the first of many weekly installments. Um, and the focus is going to be the book uh, Radical Acceptance. It is by Tara Brock, B-R-A-C-H. If you want to read it and um, tune in and give me some questions or feedback or likes or hates, that would be great. And if not, that's okay. I'm going to summarize it and kind of give my interpretation of why I think it's important. Um, maybe some um, personal anecdotes. Basically, this is something, this concept that I use in my own personal growth and also with my coaching clients a lot. Um, it's near and dear to my heart. So today, I'm just going to introduce it based off her introduction in the book. Um, so to give you an idea of what I'll be talking about. I hope to do this regularly as a Thursday morning live. So I'm thinking like 8 a.m. Thursdays works really well for me. Um, it's subject to change, but as of now, that's what I'm hoping. So Thursday mornings, if you're available and you want to either read along or just come on, give questions and comments, that would be fabulous. Love to have you here. I will um, then shoot this onto my, my page for Best Self, Best Health. And maybe I can even learn how to stream it there. I've heard something about that, but that's for another time for me to figure out. So, radical acceptance. Now, you have heard me say on my page, or if you're one of my clients, you've heard me talk about how I think that expectations are setting ourselves up for some really hard times ahead and that the key instead of expecting is to accept so instead of expect accept and that makes life totally change it changes the point of view and sometimes we really need that change so I will tell you that in her introduction she talks about Radical acceptance being the active training of heart and mind, which is something that I say in my coaching all the time and I do in my personal growth. She then talks about how it is about recognizing what is true in the present moment. Now, to me, that is exactly what I talk about when I talk about the importance of mindfulness. It's one of my top three things that you can do to improve your health. Um, and I assume she's going to go into more detail, so I'll save it for that. But n basically recognizing that in the present moment, not about the past, not about future what ifs, but in the present moment, looking for the truth in that moment. Now, my eyebrow looks really weird today. Anyways. <laughs> So I felt like that is really important. The second thing is embracing whatever we see with an open heart. And if you bring those three concepts together, that is the concept of radical acceptance to Tara. So it is an active training of the heart and mind. It is recognizing what's true in the present moment and then embracing whatever we see as the truth with an open heart, not bringing our past stories, not uh, getting in the way of our uh, past emotional experiences, but really being open with it. I love that. And I cannot wait to explore this concept further with you guys. Um, she also mentions that radical acceptance pretty much is bringing together concepts of mindfulness, which I've talked about, and compassion, um, which all of those things are really what we need. And it is a tool, really, for facing the times when we're confronted and our body and mind sense something that's unfamiliar 
or frightening or super intense. Again, all of those situations, if you've heard me talk before, are triggers for your amygdala, right? Like that's when your amygdala goes off, you switch um, from parasympathetic into sympathetic. It is your fight, flight, or freeze response. And radical acceptance is a tool to avoid reacting from the amygdala. Um, it also, she says, is ca- it is a counter, right, against years of neglecting ourselves, judging and treating ourselves harshly, and rejecting the moment's experience. I So beautiful. Because I feel whether you are 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 or 70, sometimes 80 seems to bring some clarity, but we have years of not giving ourselves the compassion. And I work a lot on self-compassion myself in my personal growth journey. It's really difficult for me. And it's really sad to see and other people as well as myself that I could treat a stranger more kindly than I can myself. And so radical acceptance is part of that and brings in some of that self-compassion. It's the willing, she says, it's the willingness to experience ourselves and our lives as it is. Not if we do this, not when we lose 10 more pounds, not when we get a better job after this promotion, none of that, as we are right now. And what an incredible gift if you could give yourself the freedom to love and accept what is occurring currently. I just, I'm super excited to share this with all you guys because... I mean, that is the greatest gift, right? And although we want to support growth, the key to getting to grow in that growth mindset that I've talked about is accepting and loving what is. Because we cannot move forward if we do not accept reality. And we cannot move forward unless we really have the freedom to be the support for ourselves. So Thursdays, I'm going to be jumping on. I'm going to be tackling some of these chapters. I haven't yet decided if I'm going chapter by chapter. Um, Sometimes, as you know, if you've heard me talk, I am not the best uh, rigid planner and sometimes I go on tangents. So I will try to keep my lives... Uh, no more than an hour, probably less, but no more than an hour um, to talk about. So if it's a short chapter and I feel like I can get into more concepts, then I might do two chapters. Um, If you're reading along, I would say do two chapters to um, just to be sure. And maybe I can update that and get a feel for it as we go. So feel free to invite whoever you think needs to hear about radical acceptance. If you want to read along in the book, um, it's Tara Brock. It is available in audio format. I'm a big fan of Scribed. If you're not on Scribed, it's, I can send you, I'll post a link below because that book, uh, the audio book is on Scribed uh, and it's a fantastic novel. And if you're not on Scribed, I can give you a free, a code for free access for 60 days. So I'll post that below. Thursday mornings, follow me around along with me, join in, and we can tackle this huge topic of radical acceptance. And until then, I hope you have a fantastic week, a beautiful three day weekend. If or hopefully you do get that. Some people won't, but a long weekend nonetheless. Uh, Enjoy it, and I will see you next week.